This is a giant witch hunt to try and hurt a campaign that's beating the worst president in history. Biden is the worst president in the history of our country, beating him by a lot. Trump's hush money trial will start on Monday now that all the jurors have been picked. A New York appeals court also rejected Trump's last minute bid to halt the trial. The defense saying jury selection was unfairly rushed. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover an alleged sexual affair and payments. Joining me now is Eric Hamm, our CTV News political analyst. Eric, thank you as always. It's good to be here. Uh, an interesting day. We'll touch, we'll touch briefly on this. Uh, the man, the unfortunate man who set himself on fire, he's now died in front of the courthouse yesterday. Doesn't look like that was any kind of a protest or anything. Not against Donald Trump or his trial. I think given the cameras and the salacious stories and, of course, all of the attention, I think what we saw was a gentleman who was perhaps disturbed and was looking to draw attention to whatever causes that he deemed necessary and unfortunately lost his life as a result of it. Absolutely horrific situation. Um, overshadowed the trial for a bit, but we have to go on to the trial now. Uh, they have the jury. They have their six alternates. Uh, was that as quick as you expected uh, or did it take a little while longer? No, that was very quick. In fact, I expected that uh, that the process of actually selecting a jury would take at least two to three weeks. And it turns out it only took a week. And so I think what we now see is you know, the whole this entire case is expected to take six to eight weeks. And now it looks as though it's going to continue to move on its schedule. And we know that Donald Trump has run out of ways to try to delay this trial. And so we will get opening statements on Monday. And just staying with the jury for a minute, uh, I believe a couple of jurors did uh, recuse themselves. Uh, one, one, I think, uh, learned that people had figured out who she was. And so she was a little worried about it. May we see more of that through the trial? Well, I think if that was going to take place, it would have happened before the actual trial is set to begin. And so I think now the jury that that is seated, as well as the alternates, I think those are the individuals that are actually going to see this trial through unless something untowards happens or there is some type of illness or some type of unseen emergency where people may have to recuse themselves. But of course, that's now why you have those six alternates. So I think we're going to see a trial actually begin in earnest of Donald Trump in this actual case. And let's talk about what happens on Monday. Prosecutors have been uh, pushing to see what they can and can't discuss. What, uh, what can we expect on Monday? Yeah, that's right. In fact, we have been seeing that play out all week. And we know that the prosecution has refused to uh, outline who their witnesses are going to be for fear of reprisal from Donald Trump and, and naming those witnesses. But we also know that there has been back and forth on who can testify and also what is the scope and the parameters in terms of what the prosecution will be able to lay out for this jury. Uh, we know that there has been discussion about perhaps bringing up Donald Trump's civil uh, trial where we know he was found liable for fraud in that case. In addition, there's even been discussion about bringing up some of these sexual allegations against Donald Trump, which has also been discussed. And so what we're seeing here is the, the prosecution seeking to, of course, bring as much information into this trial as they possibly can. But also what we have seen from the judge in this case is also trying to ensure that the, the, that the prosecution stays within very tight parameters surrounding the election interference that is central to this case. And what about the defense? Do they have uh, any more delay tricks up their sleeves or attempts at least? No, not at this point. In fact, we saw just on Friday that they were still trying to delay this trial. But Judge Marchand has been very iron fisted in his ability to move this process forward. And we, we've seen just how aggressive he has been, not only on pushing back on the defense and Donald Trump specifically, but also ensuring that this trial actually moves forward. And it appears as though he's going to keep this trial on schedule and run a very tight ship, which is why I think we could actually see a verdict in this trial before summer. Which will make for a very interesting campaign. Absolutely, it most certainly will. But again, we know that because the, this trial is actually in session four days a week, it takes Donald Trump off of the campaign trial and leaves a lot of space and a wide berth 
for Joe Biden, who we know is ramping up his aggression and attacking Donald Trump, but also on the campaign trail. We know, in fact, if you look at February, Joe Biden's campaign spent six million dollars. But in in March, they more than tripled that by spending nearly 30 million. So we see now that the Biden campaign is ramping up as Donald Trump is now off the campaign trail as a result of this trial. And now the question is, can he actually catch Donald Trump in many of these polls that continue to show Donald Trump leading Joe Biden in this race? Okay, Eric, thank you as always for your insight. You bet. Thanks for having me. Eric Ham is our CTV News political analyst.